reach our good friend Barbara Thurman. Barbara, thank you for trying to speak to us. I will see you more. I will see you more. EVP, or Electronic Voice Phenomena, or Unexplained Recorded Voices. The existence of these recordings raised many questions. I can't even touch it. Some believe these are the voices of the dead, communicating from the other side. I wanted to know that my son was okay. I've always been a believer in the afterlife, but never as strong as I believe it now with all the evidence that I've gathered together. When you hear that voice, it changes your reality. What is this? How could this voice be there? There's some activity recently up here because we've heard that recently there was a uh, suicide. There is some history on this room, supposedly. Apparitions have been spotted with the man with the top hat on, all dressed in black. I started feeling something really strong right here. Electronic voice phenomena is the recording of paranormal voices on all sorts of recording media that should not be there. Hello? Who's there? There's no known scientific explanation for why they're there. The thousands of people in the world uh, claim to receive communications by the EVP. If, if somebody is here and somebody wants to speak or show yourself, please do so. I think the age that we're living in, the time has come for this information and knowledge to come forward. EVP is a variety of instruments that you can use to be able to connect with the other side, to be able to connect with the divine mind. Repeatedly, tests have been done and we are not getting picking up radio signals. The AAEDP is the American Association of Electronic Voice Phenomena. We simply exist to educate the public about EVP. Sarah Eastup was the original founder. Back in about 1975, I started a quarterly newsletter, and I kept the thing going for 18 years, and it grew and grew, and I ended up with about 300 members in about 40 states in this country and 12 or 13 foreign countries. Okay, sweetie, you come up here and play which, what you think you have. Yes, I hear that. Very heavy. She asked what is life like on the other side. Yeah. He said very heavy, which may mean he's not too happy. People studying various forms of phenomena voice, and they describe electronic voice as a thickening of available background noise. You know, this is a typical EVP. This is what you've got to listen for. It says she's right. Fact. Basically what it boils down to is that we believe it's a telekinetic manipulation of physical energy. Anybody get anything? It's the type of results that we got over the years that have convinced me that EVP is a communication with another level of reality, another level of intelligence. We get so excited because, you know, I, I know that this is a voice. What our association is about is bringing this to the mother that has lost the child, to the husband that's lost the wife. Right from the beginning, we're really not interested in skeptics. We're interested in helping people. I came to be here because, of course, I lost my daughter on December 23rd. 2001, and five months later, my niece picked her voice off her computer. A lot of people have picked up the recorder and, and been able to make a recording of, yes. it, maybe it might be just I miss you, or I love you, or uh, their name uh, of, of a lost loved one that's on the other side, and you find out by recognizing the voice they're still around us, they're still here. They haven't gone anywhere. I mean, you think they've gone off to La La Land, but they're, they're around you all the time. I think EVP is a very valuable tool in the healing process of grief. After Kathy died, you know, I tried going to the grief therapist and psychiatrist and that 
none of them believed in this. So what I want you to do now is to form a group. We're going to form a circle, and we're going to hold hands. And I would tell them, I said, I've got my daughter's voice. I was real excited, and it's like, yeah, right. You know, we'll put you in some more drugs. What do you, you know, anything you want, we'll write up for you. Jamie died in a car accident seven years ago. Can you give me your name? <laughs> this is my opportunity to be proactive in reaching out to my daughter. My name's Karen Mossy. And I lost my son, Rob, um, from a seizure in uh, August of 2000. I'll never fully recover from having lost a child, but through this, I know that I can communicate with my son. If you look closely, I know it's probably hard to see from a distance, but you're welcome to come up here after the session. All the skepticism in the world will not deter me from my path. It will not. EVP is prone to intrusion. It's just the natural law. You know, nothing is a here, nothing paranormal, just unknown, just we do not know about it so far. If we do not have validation, this will never be recognized. Hi, do you hear that? Hello, There's a lot of psychic research that's very scientific, from Nobel laureates to professors, and it has a long history and tradition going back over 100 years. Think of the loved one that you want to hear from. I have no problem with skeptics. It's nice to have some balance to that so that you know that the information you're getting is good. Try to speak to us, please. Please try to speak to us. Life, it doesn't end with death. It's just a transition to the next stage of life. So why are you? So why are you? It's not a scary thing. It's, it's, uh, it's something that is worth working with. Edward, please try to speak to us. I admit it takes a lot to scare me now, but uh, I welcome it. And, and I, that's my message to people. If you have a paranormal experience, welcome it, because there's something there for you. If anybody gets anything, raise your hand. You hear something. You got something. We hope that in, in subtle little ways, it, it helps people understand that there's, there's much more to their reality than what they're experiencing at this minute. Hello. Hello. Jamie Ann Quillen. Okay, chatterbox. <laughs> if you open up to it and you provide the tools and provide the window, it's going to happen. Carl Edwin. Carl, please try to speak to us. EVP and all of this other research is really just an entry point and a doorway to open people's minds to actually think about what is the greater context for existence that we find ourselves in. Maya, please speak to us. If there is life after death, if, if we do survive physical death, what does that mean about how we choose to live in the world? Gisela Cosmo. Okay. Gisela. One person at a time, we're trying to convince people that we survive. See for yourselves, make all the tests yourselves, do your own analysis, and then decide honestly.